to when I thought defensively our guys were, were, were really locked in, especially from the three-point line. Uh, they were 5 of 19 from the three-point line, and I thought some individual guys did, did a really nice job. I thought Kane was terrific today, made some great plays, but uh, also with JT, you know, he's kind of protecting the run force, so making it harder on people. And so uh, just a really, really good win. You know, we uh, so we had that downside. I said, when you get to February, championship team's got to win, and especially got to win at home. So uh, we took care of what we needed to. Great, great environment. Great basketball environment. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, again, especially when you win in-state games and league games, uh, it's just really important. So um, really happy. That's our 16th win, and uh, we keep moving. What about DeMarcus? Just talk about him getting back on the floor offensively after that last game when he went scoreless. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't going to be too worried about that. You can't keep that guy down too much. And, and just like with teams and players, you know, you go through battles. You know, you're going to have some time for when, when, when it's not going well. The great thing is that he, he didn't play well with one. Um, I knew he'd come back at this game and, and, and be a man. And so we know that, uh, we know that to, to, to win this championship, we got to win. we got to win out. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to have DeMarcus, and I thought he played, he played like the best player of the league. What about Kane as well as maturation, especially handling the ball in the second half when they were pressuring to trying to get steals? Well, it's funny because we've taken him out of the starting lineup, uh, and we're getting more production from our bench, you know, with him scoring 19. And, and uh, you know, he can kind of come in for anybody. We can play any different in any way we need to. But he's just been solid, man. And we're, and we're able to solid defensively, but he was solid on that free throw line. You know, we've, been, we've had our struggles in that valley where we weren't making free throws. And, and I don't know what we were tonight. Uh, what was our free throw line? 11-17. 11-17. You know, but, but more importantly, came with 6-6 six six, you know, down the stretch. So that was really important. It's about the perimeter defense. You were very aggressive trapping them and uh, trying to defend those three-pointers. Was that kind of strategy and not just sit back and let them get those shots? Yeah, we, we, we made a couple of adjustments uh, just to be more aggressive up at the top. And, and you know, there's some guys that we have to protect. And, and then, you know, we're going the backside and we do some things. And, and we freed up Malik a little bit. Malik's our best defender. And now we freed him up out of the post and let him go on the perimeter. And that's, where that, that's, that's, that's a big change for our defense. That's kind of like our defense was a year ago. You know, Malik get on that perimeter. And so, uh, you know, he, he covers up for a lot of our mistakes. Coach, you talked about your ball movement throughout the game as well. Yeah, I thought, was, I thought we moved the ball very well, even on our missed shots. Uh, again, I thought we, we, we moved the ball very well. Um, you know, this is starting to look like Georgia State basketball. I've been waiting for this, even though our, our streak. You know, one thing that we do, we play great defense, we, miss, we make free throws, and we don't turn over. And uh, when you can do that, you got to you chance to win games. And I just talked about your defense uh, becoming stronger at the second half went on as well. Well, not only in the second half, but our defense gets stronger as the year goes by. One of the things I talk about is peaking at the right time, and not necessarily peaking offense. I think you got to peak defensively at the right time, and I think we've kind of found our groove defensively. And uh, you know, when our matchup is going, it's really, it becomes really, really hard on people. And so uh, you're able to see that again. You know, one of the things that you know, you get hold George Southern with 26% shooting free throws. You've done some, you know, you've done something pretty good. Coach, um, you just talked about Kane, Kane Williams. Uh, he had a pretty good game today. Um, 19 points, um, two rebounds. You just talked about his play, and just what did you see for him that really helped him this game? Yeah, I just I just talked about that. Kane is Kane has been great, and he's been great all year. I mean, this isn't really anything new. Kane Kane is, you know, I think that he's better coming off the bench because now he's going against tired guy, and now so he gets that ball in his left hand, and, and he's you know now you know he's comfortable shooting that three point shot, and that was the next piece of his game. He gets that three point shot now, and then he becomes the almighty guard guy, and so. Uh, you put so much pressure on, on, on the rim, and then you got the Marcus, and then of course the shooters that are around him. So, um, so again, you know we're a well-balanced team, four guys, almost five guys in double figures, and uh, you know it's, it seems like it's a different guy every night. For us. We have Coach, time for two more questions, guys. And I got to get Coach yeah. out of here. Coach, the um, the crowd was spectacular tonight. Can you, um, can you speak about how the team fed, fed up the home, the home crowd's energy? It, it it really did. I mean, I've always said you know a home crowd is, is, is worth about ten points at home, and we went by nine. You know that, that's what it is, but um, you know I hope that I'm coaching here at Georgia State when that when the crowds are like this every day, and not just for Georgia State. Uh, I don't know if I'll be the coach at that time, but for this program to get to that next level, you got to get to the point where it's like this every single night. You know we've talked about building our program like the BCUs and, and the Dayton's and those places like that, and every night it doesn't matter who you play there, and that's what we got to get to. So I thank the fans, I thank the students, I thank everybody that came out. Uh, but again, we need that every every single time we come out, especially now during the stretch run when you when you've got a team that's got a chance to win a championship. So um, you know, hopefully it'll get to that. And uh, um, if I'm not coaching here, make sure you guys send me a picture, send me a text, and let me know.